Let's talk about what's actually happening during a total solar eclipse. And no, it's not what you think. First of all, the powers that be would want you to think that you're on a spinning water ball in an infinite space vacuum, and a total solar eclipse is when the sun is shining on the other side of some dusty rock that we call the moon. So when you look up these images of total solar eclipses, they feed you images that serve that heliocentric lie. Images that look like this where it's pitch black because the sun is shining against this dusty rock and there's no light coming from the other side, so it must be pitch black. It's a lie. All these images all look pitch black in the middle, but that's not actually what you see during a total solar eclipse. I mean, look at this BS. It's total CGI. Okay, let's check it out. Here's what it actually looks like. And do you realize how far I had to search down on the Google search? to even find real images of a total solar eclipse. But what do you notice? There's one, that's a real picture. Here's another, what are you starting to notice? And here's another, you see it yet? During a total solar eclipse, you can see directly through the sun and the moon. <laughs> what? Yeah, folks, the sun and the moon are great luminaries set in the firmament by the almighty God. They are not spheres in outer space but spiritual disks. The sun is dominant and rules the day. The moon is submissive and governs the night. In the book of Enoch, between chapters 72 to 78, it describes the six portals that the sun and the moon are traveling above us in a clockwise fashion. Clockwise, because we live under a clock. The moon cycle exactly matches a female cycle. The moon is most attractive and most full on the 14th day. A woman is most attractive and most fertile on the 14th day. In these chapters, it describes how the moon is absent of light, becomes full of light, and then becomes absent of light, invisible. The sun is 1 28th faster than the moon, and when it catches up to the moon, it will catch up and it will pass through the moon, and the moon is devoid of light because it's a new moon. When the disk of the sun passes through the empty disk of the moon, there is absence of anything at all. You can see directly through both disks. But this is the crap they'll sell you. That's a lie. And yes, the Earth is a topographical plane. So why does the moon have craters? Lying wonders are talked about in 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 12. Have you ever wondered why the two things in our sky are the same shape, size, and color, essentially? because they were made to be that way. Praise Jesus. This is it, the apocalypse. Oh, whoa.